Today we're going to talk about The Rock, a Catholic club at a public school. Yep, you heard me right, a Catholic club at a public school. So we all have things that we're not crazy about doing in the ministries, but we do it because we love our, we love the youth, we love our ministries, and we want to keep it going. But we might not be crazy about them. And then we have the things that we actually love about our ministries and we love to do within our ministries. For me, one of those things that I love to do is help lead The Rock, which is a Catholic club at our local, public, middle, and high school. And you might say, how did you get a Catholic club in your public school system. And I say, well, God wanted it and it happened. And truly that's kind of the way it happened. So real quick story. I was in the middle of a youth ministry night uh, or spiritual guidance nights and talking with the girls and just sharing about things of purity and chastity and how to act and how to carry yourselves. And one of the girls said, Carrie, can you come to our high school and talk? Because People need to hear this message. People need to learn about this and about our faith. And they just need it. We don't get it there. And I said, well, can I? <laughs> and that was it. And I said, well, listen, it, I would do anything I can to, to help in the schools. But it's a public school. So what you need to do is find out how we start a club. And if we could start a club, we could start a Catholic club. And if we could do that there, then I'm all in. And that girl and her friend the very next day went and found out how we started a club. Turns out we needed an advisor that was a teacher staff member and we needed to present the idea with them and then present it to the board of ed. And so we did that and we went through the different hoops that it took and it took a little hoops. We had some students from our parish write letters about why they wanted the club. And we had people that st stepped up to be student leaders of the club as a president, serving as a president, a vice president, secretary and treasurer. I did my research on New Jersey's uh, public school system and what was allowed. And it turns out faith-based clubs were allowed that were student-led. And we presented it and it went through and we were amazed. And it has been amazing for almost seven years now in our public school system. First starting at the high school level and then at the middle school level. And what we do is meet once a month after school with this, in this advisor's classroom at both the middle and high school level. And we share about different topics of faith. We basically have youth ministry at a public school after school. It is amazing. And there's a lot of different things that have developed over the years. So it went from our high school to our middle school. Uh, the middle school group grew from a classroom of 30 people to a larger double size bio lab classroom to an even larger auxiliary room to the fact that we were actually going to start separating the group a little bit because we had over 80 kids coming. And it just was an incredible pouring coming kids that were not even Catholic, kids that weren't even Christian, but they wanted to know what it was why it was so much fun and why people enjoyed going. And so this group has been just a true joy to be a part of over these last seven years almost of having it. I wanna thank that girl first for sending it up, for asking me to do it. And I wanna say it can be done in your public schools. Wherever you're living, first research the, the, the state rules on having Catholic Christian clubs. And our club is very specific that although it is Catholic, it is open to anybody of any faith. And we really make that known. So we do tend to get a lot of uh, Christians in our club, which is amazing to share with our Christian brother and sisters. We get people that are searching. We've had people convert to the Catholic faith because they came to our club. Incredible, incredible. So it serves a great purpose. And I wanna say, don't be afraid to try to start it. You know, we have to think of youth ministry not just in our church boundary walls, but ministry all the time, everywhere. And so The Rock is really an opportunity to be able to minister to the people of my local community and has brought so many beautiful things from it. I've gotten to speak twice now at as the keynote speaker at our baccalaureate high school services. I've also had the opportunity to pray at a vigil that was put on by a student-led group 
after one of their classmates passed away and lead them in prayer. Incredible opportunities to share the faith with those that are uncatechized, that may not know what faith is about. We had a lot of fun. We've had an advisor, advisors through the years who have been incredible support, Catholic men and women who have supported our club, teachers. It has been a joy to lead the rock. So I want to encourage you, again, look into your high school and middle school schooling system. See if you can start this club. To date, we've had over nine different rocks, different chapters at both public and we've even spread to Catholic high schools to be able to give them a little something extra after school that wasn't school-based, grade-based. It, was it was a club. It was fun. We've incorporated service. We've incorporated the community. We've incorporated different teachers to help us out and share their faith with us. It's been amazing to see what has started from that one little line, can you start a club at my school? Lastly, we've taken on two patron saints to help us and guide us and pray for us and intercede for us from heaven. So naturally, St. Peter, you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. That's where the rock comes from. He's our patron saint for all the rocks. And then I encourage each chapter of the rock to take on their own patron saint. So our high school is called the Braves. That's their mascot. It is a Native American based logo and image. And so St. Kateri being a Native American descent was natural and a youth natural for her to be our patron saint. So St. Peter, pray for us. St. Kateri, pray for us. For all youth ministers out there, you can touch the hearts and souls in your local community with the rock.